What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. From Full Steam Brewery in Durham, North Carolina, this is Southern Basil, farmhouse, farmhouse ale brewed with basil. Uh, Full Steam website, website really just brings um, the ingredient list for this uh, beer. Uh, a, a brief note, uh, describing it as a bright, lively farmhouse ale with ever-changing local basil and North Carolina wheat. Um, grains used include Brieste to Row Malt and Riverbend Appalachian Wheat. Hops used Magnum and Vanguard. Yeast is a Belgian-style Saison yeast blend. ABV is 5.0. That is a pint can, as you can see. Give it a pour. A good amount. As soon as I get you to a clear side. Good amount of head as you can see. Decent amount of bubbles shooting up through it as well. So a good amount of carbonation overall. Just maybe ever so slightly hazy. Um, holding up to the light, it's pretty well a, a clear... Siding on the yellow side, I'm going to put them in put the white light here as well. A uh, very, very light beer overall, color-wise. Um, I would call this kind of a yellow. It's sort of on the uh, outside, kind of looks like lemonade highlights. Uh, Watered-down lemonade almost highlights. Um, as I kind of hold it up, not in front of, uh, not in front of any light, just kind of in front of my uh, my open window. I get a little bit of green tint that might be coming through uh, with the, the basil used. Um, but as you, as you can see, a lot of that head has dissipated in just the less than a minute that I've been uh, been talking about the beer visually. And again, a lot, a lot of bubbles as I pour it. And plenty of bubbles shooting up the glass, so very, very carbonated. All right. I think that's enough description, nothing else. Maybe, I'm not, I can't remember if I said this, it's maybe ever so slightly hazy. Um, I wouldn't call it 100% clear, it's about, I'd say like 90 to 95% clear. Uh, I can, can kind of see through it, but there's a little bit of obstruction. All right, enough talking. Let's get to drinking. So I can say, and I, um, I've mentioned this before, my nose is not <laughs> my nose is not the greatest in the world. We'll get to what I just laughed at in a second. Uh, my nose is not the greatest in the world, but um, to get plenty of plenty of graininess right off the bat in the aroma, just as I was going to to take a sip. The fla the flavors overall are are pretty subtle. Um, largely kind of just uh, tastes like a beer. Um, plenty of wheat notes starting off. A little bit of uh, the Belgian yeast characteristic too that you'll find in in farmhouse sales in Belgian saisons, those types of things. <coughs> Excuse me. You definitely get the aromatics and the flavors from the basil towards the back half of the sip, I think. Yeah, so the base of the beer is really kind of that, that farmhouse Belgian yeast um, flavor that's kind of kind of hard to kind of hard to describe if you haven't had it. It's, a little bit sweet, but not quite. A little bit maybe whiny, but not quite. Um, just very, very unique, uh, very unique flavor profile that's just evident in pretty much anything that uses a, a Belgian yeast strain like this does. Um, lost my train of thought, so I'll keep drinking. Yeah, so that, that Belgian yeast flavor base and... A weedy, beery graininess is uh, evident 
um, in the first half of the, the drinking experience, and that gives way to more the the the, the vegetal or green kind of flavor of the, the basil. But again, fairly mild overall. Um, it does linger a little bit on the palate after drinking. I'm still still tasting basil at this point and uh, getting a little bit of the a little bit of weediness, um, especially the very very back of my throat. A little bit of a little bit of carbonation coming back up that so was very very weedy, if you will, wheaty, if you will. Um, not bad though. I wouldn't call it one of my favorites, and I probably wouldn't mind it being a little, a little stronger. But I would think that's probably to uh, ensure that the basil is not overpowered. That the basil can be a bit of a, a strong aromatic in, in foods and the like. But they probably wanted to ensure that uh, they didn't overpower that leaf with uh, with the Belgian characteristics, with the the wheat characteristics, and so forth. But um. A decent beer. Not one of my favorites, or not one of my absolute favorites, but um, certainly wouldn't turn it down if it were put in front of me. So again, that is the Full Steam Southern Basil, a farmhouse ale brewed with basil. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Next time will be a tropical IPA from the folks at Stillwater Artisan Ales. And that'll be uh, later this week. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and much more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Uh, between written and video, we're up well over 300 different beers reviewed now. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You'll find those links in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.